Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Squatter on my shoulder. Little squatter. We got him last episode. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. We've got sheep in the background running from something. Whenever an animal's... Oh, I see. There's a rattlesnake on the ground. And there's, uh, there's a big crocodile on the ground, too. <laughs> there's a great big crocodile back there. We've, we've come to a different island. We're at a desert island. Now, this is not some place that I'm going to want to stay right now. But it looks so amazing that I thought we'd, we'd go ahead and stop here. There's a, something I forgot to do in the last episode that's very important. And that is to make sure... Uh, I have extra ship panels on the ship, so if a panel were to break, one of these guys right here, I can fix it right away, get a new one put in place, and we don't sink. So that's pretty important. Look at all the fish coming up on shore. I just saw a swordfish in the water, too. Let me show you on the map where we are. Refresh my memory, too. I'm just getting on. It's actually a Wednesday morning. I'm in J5 right now. J5 is the start of the desert region, uh, kind of going down and to the west a little bit. If we go up to J4, I think I'll have to look and see exactly what J4 is, but we're going to want to backtrack a little bit. K5 is where you guys have said some of you are at, and it's really great. Uh, I don't know if I want to be in K5, but I know if I go north, I believe I'm going to be in the tundra, the colder area, so I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go after this. I do know I want to get off on this island a little bit and explore it. It's going to be hot, so we're going to have some trouble with that, like we did in Season 1. So it's not someplace we could stay at the moment. Uh, if we zoom the map back like so... Yeah, this is going to fan out. So if we were to go over to like F5, F4, E4, E5, somewhere over in there, we would wind up being in an area that's going to be a lot more... Uh, the temperate. A little bit better for us at the beginning here. Let's go to our map real quick. Uh, the map. Yes, the map. Uh, where did I go for that? Uh, da, 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 da. Now I'm trying to remember how I managed to get. There is a way to bring this grid up on here. On the map. And I'm trying to remember how to do that. Uh, let's see. If you look at the upper left hand corner. I forget this all the time. There's all kinds of stuff to tell you how to use this. Zoom in and out, press N to place map marker on the map, holding right mouse button will rotate the compass, middle mouse button will uh, save a compass bearing. Oh, left control to use the built-in camera functionality, take a picture. Okay, I'm trying to remember how I got in there. I'm going to figure it out, but there's a way to get this grid up on your map. And I'm trying to remember what button we push to get in here in order to do that. And it's not coming to me right now, so I will try to remember what that is uh, by the end of the episode. Uh, a couple of things that came up in the comments from the last episode. Number one, she is definitely going to stay in this animation. The ship can only be repaired by a crew member when it is anchored. They will, once it's anchored, whoever is set to repair the ship is going to repair the ship uh, until it is 100%. So she should be done, but she's going to continue to make this uh, animation as though she's still working on the ship and just, you know, keeping it ship shape. So uh, for her... I think what we're going to do is we're going to put on a little bit of uh, health for her. And uh, she's got extra points. So now that she's got extra health, she's going to be definitely dipping into the larder to get some food. And we got this gal right over here. XP. We'll, we'll do two in health. We'll probably do uh, a little more in the uh, area of... Um, uh, what is that? Oh, will he attack the ship? No, he's not going to attack the ship. He's... Yeah, shark, level 12. Very dangerous. I've been inside one of those. It's not pleasant. So we've got sharks, we've got crocodiles. Uh, looks like we may have some metal nodes right over yonder there. Maybe. It might be metal. It might be something we can use right there. Anyways, we're going to get off right here and just take a look around and see what there is to see in this immediate area and get those panels made up so we can... Uh, look at the dolphin out there. Man, this place is amazing. I would like to be eventually down in a region like this where we can, we can live. It would be really cool. Also, there was a comment in the last episode. Do check them out. Uh, a link to a map that shows you each tile what it is, what's on it. And all that good stuff. Uh, there's a link in one of the comments from last episode. It's very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to go ahead and uh, bump up everybody. Give them a little more XP. Uh, what am I going to get you? You're going to get 0.6 for health. What will you get? 4.5. Huh? Let's give you a little bit of health. 
And you don't have any levels right now. Uh, where's our other sailor? We had three. Where's our third one? Okay, I got you. Nope, there, there she is, right here. Health and health. Okay, now, I've not put any armor or any clothes on these gals or any weapons or anything like that. I figure we could do that when we stop where we're going to stop. Right now, what I want to do is I really want to get on this island, get a few things put together. Let's check our inventory and see exactly what we have on us right now. We are pretty bone dry on materials uh, on us, so we're, we're looking good that in that regard. Okay. Let's see what we have on this here island. We're going to, first of all, you have to get off of your animal to, to uh, Shikau, Shikush Reef. You have to get off the animal in order to discover the land that you're on. We've got a giraffe up here, way up on that mountain. I saw a, when I finished the episode, the last episode, there was also a uh, um, ostrich up in this area too. So let's just take our time. If we get off of here and we go H on this, we can see what we've got. We've got sandstone, basalt, and tin. So I think one of the first things we should do is probably get some of this tin. We'll get this on the ship. There's 21 tin. Let's clear out some of these rocks so we can see what's going on inside here, too. Uh, thank you for all the support of the series. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Welcome to the Xbox players. You guys got your game. You've got your game, so that's fantastic. Now, I'm curious, is the Xbox version it's got to be identical to this version right because they're cross uh, platform so uh, that, that's got to be the case now what do we have in here now everything's gonna be a little bit different on each island let's see what we've got out of this like tumbleweed material jute okay so jute uh, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, since we have no idea what's going on around here I'm gonna push T T will make Delilah follow you animals will follow you by hitting T or you can hit Y and they will unfollow you boom if you want just one at a time so we're going to take her with us. We're going to get some of this jute because it's a different kind of fiber. We want that for sure. And we're going to check and see what kind of wood this is too. So every island you go to, you got to look at it and see what it is. Oh, look at this. There's some morning glory down here on the ground. Delilah here is just going to keep us, keep, us, keep us healthy, keep us happy. And we'll see what else. Now, the last island we were on getting our crew I missed a couple of vegetables that grow there carrots and wheat unfortunately I missed both of those so we can go back uh, but I, I'd rather not the next tile over on this one right here if we go on the back to the map again if we go to I-5 that is going to be another Freeport Island tile I-5 is so I don't know that I want to go uh, go there just yet uh, but it looks to me like there's a lot of free vegetables and stuff right there to kind of get you started. So I would scour your Freeport Island a little bit better than I did. This is fantastic back in here. Let's reload our crossbow before we find ourselves in some serious trouble. Let's check this over here too. Are these... What is this? This rock looks very different from the others. H. Basalt and sandstone. Okay, so that's just going to be stone and flint. All right, let's go back to uh, our inventory. Let's go ahead and drop the basalt and that. We're going to keep the uh, tin. The tin is a different metal. When it comes to uh, doing the smelting, we're going to want to pay attention to what we have, uh, number two. We're going to want a bunch of different metals. I think there's six different metals that you can acquire. And this is aged wood on this tree. Oh, wow, really aged wood. Okay. We're going to want to take... I don't know that we need... Well, maybe we do. I say, I say, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still new to the game. If you're new to the game, you're looking at somebody who's pretty new to the game as well. Um, I've got a little bit of time under my belt, but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all. So I was just thinking maybe I won't need all these different kinds of woods and stuff to, to put stuff together, but I think I do. It's better to have multiple versions of each thing. Uh, okay, Delilah, I'm going to have you stay right there. You are on attack target, so you will defend yourself. I'm going to go right out to here and hit the ladder and go on up. Which, that never goes that well, by the way. That's the best I've ever done on the ladder. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. How do we do it anyways? Okay, so she's down to 21 metal in here already from making the repairs that she's made to the ship. So I'm going to throw that stuff in there. 
So she's got more materials to make repairs. Because every time I anchor, I do want her to repair the ship. She's going to repair just the uh, the outer shell of the ship. She's not going to repair the floor, the mass, what you guys tell me, the doors, uh, the wheel, the the chest and stuff that we have on here. She's not going to she's not going to fix any of that stuff. She's just going to fix the hull of the ship. All right, so we know we've got that. I'm going to have to gather enough of this material in order to make the panels. Now, it's my it's a Wednesday morning when I'm recording. I never get to record here in the morning. I'm always at work with doing the recording. Uh, so it's pretty exciting for me to be able to be home. I'm here because I've got a guy coming today to put a furnace into my house, which is fantastic. Oh, there's a beautiful horse. Look at that. Where'd you go, horse? Level four. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's beautiful, but she's very tiny. Now, what do we get off of the cactus here? I've never been in a desert region before. Aged wood. Okay, so that's going to be the same. What about this? Wild cactus and cactus seed. Ooh, what if we use our sickle on this? Jute and parsley. Okay, so it's not going to give me the cactus, but this is cactus seed. Now, does cactus seed count as a vegetable seed? I don't know. But if we get enough of the seeds together, we can get some health kits put together, and we'll be able to, we'll be much better off. Number four again. Let's try down here. Get yourself a sickle. It pays off in the long run. It really pays off because you get so much more material. This is nice. This is really, really good. What we got here? This is a different plant, too. Look at all the different kind of plants they've got in here, too. Cotton and jute. Okay, so I don't think I've ever found cotton. Is this the jute? This purple flower? No, the purple flower is the cotton. Let's grab some of this cotton up. We'll have some of this in storage as well. We've got to be careful what we're putting on the boat. Uh, there was a question as to what happens to my ship and my stuff when I'm not on. I'm playing single player. Oh, you're hot. Yeah, this is going to be a thing down here. This is going to be a thing down here in this heat. Oh, boy. <clears throat> this is what happened last season. I just got down into an area that's too hot too fast. And uh, you, you just it's really hard to defend against this. I'm also missing my vitamin buffer. Um, let's go ahead and have you stay right there. Let's go on up here. I'm curious to see, can I make a health kit? And Am I going to be kept okay in here if I'm in here? Let's see. Okay, the heat index is gone now that I'm inside. So we picked up cactus seeds. Here they are. What else do we need for a first aid kit? Okay, we've got the veggie seeds now. So we've got 27. It takes 10 to make a health kit. So we need organic paste, medicinal herb, and hide. Now, what is this here? This is cactus. Does this count as anything for, towards this? It's not a medicinal herb. Uh, we have parsley. How about that? No, not a medicinal herb. And that's just thatch. Okay, so... Hmm. We have some other stuff in here. We found... That's the wild peppers. We also found... Oregano herb. Let's see. It might say this right on here, too. Consumable herb. Hmm, none of those are medicinal herbs, so we cannot make health kits still. We need medicinal herbs. The turmeric isn't a medicinal herb. Uh, cactus is food, so we're going to throw it in there. That works out just fine there. Okay, and then we're going to take the rest of this stuff. Let's see, do I heat up again? Yeah, I'll get hot. when I, As soon as I go outside, I get hot. So that's okay. That's all right. We're good. We're good. We're going to throw this in here. We're going to go to structures. Ship construction. Yeah, ship construction, medium, planks. I can make three of those. I would like to have about five or six of these planks on the ship. That way, if for some reason we take serious damage on one of our walls and one of these planks disappears, at least we know we can, you know, patch it back up again. Okay, so it doesn't like it in there. What if I come in here and close this door again? We're out of the elements. Let's see if the heat index goes away. And we're going to put these guys right in here. Okay, put them in there. Okay, so what about right here? I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's grab those out. Let's grab some shoes. Let's grab a hat. We'll throw those in there. We could probably dress up the crew. 
and then I can dye them later. And then we've got plenty of armor, too, that we can actually repair and put on the crew. Okay, so I'm still hot. That's okay. I, I knew this was coming, because we're in the desert. We're not going to spend much time here, because it's going to be just too dangerous for us. It's too much work to try to keep yourself alive down here. Let's do that and that. Let's go... This is some salted fish. If you take fish, put it in here, and you put salt in here as well. I believe it's in the preserving bags. It'll turn it into salted fish. But uh, it, it lasts longer, but I think it's less uh, healthy for you. Let's grab that. Let's do a couple of meat. A couple of milk. A couple of potatoes. We'll eat a few of these guys here, too. There we go. That should work. That should get us back to good. Good health. Give us a little vitamin buffer, hopefully, for this. Can I, can I dress you? There we go, you're looking better. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll dye everybody's clothes. We don't make sure these guys are taken care of as well. Uh, there's some hand wraps, there's another pair of pants. Just tea to transfer stuff from one inventory to the next, just so you know. You don't see me always do that, but that's what you do, tea. Okay, so that's all of our basic clothes. You've got wraps on? You don't. So there's something for your hand. Nope. Okay, you do have hand wraps. You do not. <clears throat> Head and pants, okay. You, it looks to me like the heat is here, but it's not really bothering me too much. Uh, she's already got that on, so let's give her the shirt. There we go. All right, beautiful. Everyone's got a little something extra on. We can finish them up. I'm just trying to see what the heat event's going to do to my character. Uh, it's not a heat event at the time, it's just it's just warm. So we're, we're doing okay. Uh, let's go for a little bit of a ride. If you get in the water and you get wet, it'll it'll tend to uh, cool you off. You can see the, the heat went down because I got wet. Let's go over here. Get me some fish. Oh god, you guys are right. Using the tiger to get the uh, the fish stuff is fantastic. Lots of oil. All right, so let's dump that, drop that, drop that. Uh, somebody also left in the comments that they went and got a cat at the Freeport Island. They used a cage. You could make a cage and uh, trapped it in that. I'm thinking you could probably run up on it with a pick, hit it once, and then bola it. But I think in the cage is probably a pretty good idea. Let's take a ride around a little bit and see if there's anything of special. Right now we found... Everything we found on this island is new to us. I didn't even see that happening. Alright, let's do that. I see some, some different kind of stuff up here as well. Something right here. What is this here? Parsley. Oh, man, is this a medicinal herb? We can only help. We'll try it out. We'll see. We re I really would love to get the health kit. The health kit would be a huge, well, lifesaver. <laughs> it's a lifesaver. It's a huge lifesaver. Uh, let's, let's grab you. Let's move you forward just a little bit there, Delilah. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the name choices for the big cat. We've got to name the boars. If you guys got ideas for the boars, let me know. Uh, last set we had was uh, Slop and Bitsy. <laughs> So it's pretty fun. I, I really enjoyed in naming the animals. Oh, oh, it's parsley. Dang it. It looks just... You know what the thing about parsley is? It looks just like the top of a carrot. It looks just like the top of a carrot. So let's grab this too. We'll grab all of this. This, this is all good stuff for the larder and, and, the, and, the, and the cooking and stuff like that. We'll get to the grill eventually and we'll be able to cook some nice recipes as well. Okay, my fine kitty friend. Let's keep on going down here and see... These islands, I want to backtrack a little bit. We are going to go, and we're probably going to set up a little bit of a shop on one of the, um, like an island we were just on, building building the uh, the Forsaken. We're going to do that because, well, we, we need to level up more. We're just, it's just too hot down here. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, oh, what's the Yarrow? What's the Yarrow? Let's go to inventory. Consumable. It's a vegetable as well. I wonder if maybe this is going to count. I've never seen so much of this stuff here before. I was hoping this was going to be the wheat, but it's not. Let 
Now I'm curious to see once this once this uh, wetness is going to disappear in here in just a second. Am I going to go back to being overheated and have to jump into the water again? We'll see. Doesn't look like it right now. We've got some different trees here. Can I just age this tree? Yeah, aged wooden roots. Roots! Which is a type of thatch. Oh, that is really awesome. Man, I tell you what, they thought of a lot of different stuff in here, didn't they? Oh, I'm way too heavy. Um, let's get rid of these guys right here. Yeah, we've got a bunch of that. She's not meant to carry a lot, so she's got us on her back. So we got to take this stuff back to the Forsaken. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. I would not mind living on an island like this. For season one, we were in the eastern tropics, which was very hot to try to be in, but it was uh, it was pretty beautiful. I like the open spaces and the sand and stuff. So I would love to be on something like this down the road, for sure. There's a rattlesnake. Let's go kill it. Oh, she's got no stamina. I don't think that rattlesnake will even bother us, will it? There's a rattlesnake down. I'm not going to go after the scales and stuff. We're already encumbered on top of poor Delilah here, so... Look at this, just being on this little piece of shoreline, all the different things that we have found in the game. I think that is really amazingly cool. And some of the islands you're going to go to is not going to have everything you need. It's just not going to. Oh, uh, I wonder if I could get you to come up on the boat with me. I would really prefer if you did that. You're, you're set to low follow, so you should come right on the boat and end up right here. There you go, good girl. Let's go. Why? We'll leave her here. I'd rather her be here than have some kind of a snake come up and attack her. Let's see if this is a medicinal herb. Just out of curiosity. Okay, we got that. Okay, so we need to hide an organic paste. Woohoo! We're in business. We've got med kits. All right. Let's do that. Uh, do I have hide in here? That's a lantern. Do I have hide in here? I do. Look at this. No, that's, that's, that's fiber. That's not going to do me any good. Uh, there's some hide right there. I don't think I actually need hide in here, but we're going to go leave some of that in there. We're going to take some of this. We're going to drop that in there. Cementing paste. Uh, what do I need for cementing? I think I need flint and flint and sap. We have that. Let's go back downstairs here. Take a look. Mm -hmm. uh, cotton, thatch, wood. There's some hemp. This all goes into the larder. Uh, here, here we go. This is what we need. If I shift, double click on this, I get five. Shift, double click gives me five at a time. We're gonna do that, and we're saving that honey for a bear tame. Oh, I've got some right here. This is your sap, and this is also the preferred food. This is the sugar cane, the preferred food of the horses. The horses. If you want a horse, that's a great way to get them. And the horses tend to get stuck real easy into the uh, uh, bamboo and stuff you find on some of the islands. So we're going to drop that in there, and now we have ourselves a health kit. We're going to make two of them because... Now, they do spoil, so keep that in mind. And I don't think the larder actually increases the time that it lasts for. It's 11 hours, 59 minutes in my inventory. Does this change the time on this at all? I can't even put it in there. So 11.59 is the time limit on that. All right, beautiful. And we got an extra one there. So we've got a health kit now. And a backup health kit, so that's fantastic. We're going to be nice and healthy. So if we do start taking damage, uh, what's his name here on my shoulder should help us out tremendously, uh, Squatter. And then uh, we've got the health kit too, just in case we need it. Looking pretty quiet along the shore. Oh, okay, there's two pirate camps here. Only two. Really? Like I said, we're not going to spend much time here. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to spend too much time here. There we go, beautiful. But it's a fantastic island. I really like the look of it. Okay, I can't get through there. Boars to the left, boars to the right. Everybody's here. There we go, boom. All right, back downstairs. Drop, drop, and drop. All right, we're good to go there. Oh, man, this is fantastic. All right, now, I'm not sure exactly what else I want to do on this island. I've got a few extra panels for the ship, but I think I'd like a few more. I would not mind taking, actually, 
Delilah and both boars with me. And just to go down along this edge of... Let's go to the map. Plus... Yeah, we could, we could cruise this shoreline. There's a lot of beach all the way down along here. We could do that and see exactly what's along this beach. See if there's anything else we really need to pick up. It would be fantastic. So... It uh, looks like the sun is going to be going down or it's behind the mountains. If I go to my inventory, I can see right here what time it is. It is 18.25. So, yeah, it's 6.30 at night uh, in the evening. So, it's going to be going down here pretty quick. So, I'm going to go ahead and hang out at the ship, wait for the sun to come up, and then uh, we'll move forward. I'll probably jump off the ship and grab up uh, some of these trees, maybe all of these trees right here. Get a few more planks made and get them put uh, where they're going to be safe uh, for us to use in case we take damage. Uh, the other thing we got to think about too is uh, pirate ships. We've not seen any of those, knock on wood, but hopefully we don't see any of them at all. Uh, so stick around, I shall be right back. Just in case you don't know, because there's going to be a lot of new players coming in and finding the game, if you use your axe on a tree, or an animal, on a tree you're going to get more wood, less thatch. If you use your pick, you're going to get more thatch than wood. On an animal, if you use your pick, you're going to get more meat than you do hide. If you use your axe, you're going to get more hide than you do meat. I prefer to use the axe on the animals because the hide is far more important. Here's a new animal we've not seen yet, you guys. A crow. These guys are supposed to make you smarter. That is a really great model. Look at him. Oh man, I would love to have. We're gonna, we're gonna. There's so much I want to do. I just love playing Atlas. I do. I just do. So much fun. There's so much to see and so much to do and so many new things on each place. It's really cool. I love it. We're getting some thatch right now, so I can work on on the ship and get some things uh, made up. But I wanted to bring you back in and talk to you about that, just in case you did not know. Uh, something else you can do if you did not know this. If you're a distance away from your animal, like sometimes I find myself not grabbing them and making sure they're following me. If you hit seven, if you could see them through your spyglass, I could call any of these animals to me. Like I can hit T and Delilah will come to me. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to get her back on the boat. But if I hit T, she will come to me. Okay, so you can use your spyglass to call your animals, which is fantastic. Your pets. Should we just call them pets? Your friends? Your seafaring friends. All right, I'm going to take uh, another break. I just wanted to bring you back in for that because I know there's a lot of new players out there. Lots of new players with the Xbox that came out. So I shall be right back. How many more of these can I make? Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Now we've got five. I'll be back. Welcome back. It's about four hours since the last time I recorded. I've got a brand new furnace in my living room. It's just wonderful. So that all went well. Oh, hi, squatter. <laughs> Uh, the scissors that you make. You can shear the sheep. Thank you for this. You can shear the sheep and the rams with a pair of scissors, which you can make in the smithy. You use them to give yourself a haircut, beard cut, mustache, whatever, too. Uh, so you just come up and left-click on Bucky here, and it gave me, I think it was like 400, 400 uh, fleece or something like that. Let's see. Fibers. It was, yeah, right here. Nope, 43. 43 fleece hide. And then I use the scissors for it, which I put away. But if you go in here and type in SC, you got scissors. You just make these guys right here. This is what you give yourself a haircut with, and it's what you also give uh, the Rams a uh, haircut with. So you've got a different kind of uh, hide coming in, which is great. Uh, real quick, other thing I looked up while I was waiting to get back on to record with you guys. If we pull up the map, I was trying to find out how I figure out uh, how to get the grid on. If you go to your inventory, I for inventory, at the top of the screen, you go to Atlas. Right here is where you could see what you've got going on, okay? Down here, there is a little toggle world grid. If you click it like this, toggle world grid, you could turn that on and off, okay? So you can see we've got some specialty odds. Power stone number four, power stone number two. Oh, power stones nearby the power stones anyways that's how you get to that to get the grid on because i know the grid is extremely handy uh you guys do not have food we're gonna take these guys in the sun is just coming up pretty much let's grab this and let's grab this i'm gonna fill them both up with some berries so i don't have to stop and do it while we're moving I'm gonna go like that i didn't even get a chance to do any kind of grind work uh while we were away also i did not get to do that at all Let's jump over here, 
Tiger has a level. And we're going to go... I'm trying to get her up to 500 health, but it's going to take forever to do that. So I'm going to give her a little more melee damage. Oh, silly cat. There we go. All right. And let's get these guys over here. Now, again, number seven. You go number seven. Boop. Zoom in. Hold down right click. Hit T. And hit T. There we go. We got our hogs with us now. Our boars of delight. There we go. All right. Everybody's with us. Let's go on down. I did a little more chopping and cutting and things of that nature back in here to gather up some more resources. Uh, this place still has some stuff to offer. I just want to give it a good, a, a little bit of a look over uh, down this way. Come on. Come on, you sexy pigs. I got mangroves out there. This has rhinos, elephants... Does she uh, gather this way? Huh, no. She's not the gatherer. The bear is the gatherer. I've decided where I want to go, set up shop. And then this... It talks about this being possibly wheat right here. But I believe we've already tried this and it was not wheat. I have our shovel on us as well, just in case we need it. These rocks are amazing. Parsley, yeah, it's just parsley. Okay, so that's not wheat. I, 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 I can't remember. I went to that site and was looking to see what's available on this island. I'm just curious to see if we're going to bump into anything. We, I don't want to spend too much time on any of the islands at the moment, uh, other than the one we're going to do some building at. <laughs> the horse is like, what? Oh, there's a pirate encampment up here. We're going to have to come back and deal with that. Possibly. You can go right up this rock. We're not here for pirates. We're here for exploration. Oh, they're, they're taking shots at me. See if we can see him down there. We got a bit of a wall, it looks like. Small houses. It's really tough to see. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw green something there. They're down there, obviously. What is this pink bush right here? Hmm. I believe we're out of range now. This is an amazing area up here. How are the hogs doing? They're both doing just fine. They're coming up. Hope you guys don't mind going for a little bit of a journey with me here. Okay, so we're hot. We can't stay here. It's just, I, I wanted to. I really do. I really want to stay here, but it's just going to be too hot. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, we got to check and see what that stuff is. Let's take a look. There's a rhino. That's the first rhino I've seen in the game. That's my cat. That rhino is a level 8 female. Level 2 male. We got an ostrich, which I've never seen before, which is very cool. I don't think the ostrich are aggressive, but I would be curious to see what this black stone is right down here. I'm going to guess it's crystal or gem, maybe. Let's come over here. Do I stay put? I think I've got a gun in my inventory, but I brought no ammo. I did not. Uh, you to unfollow everybody. And before I hop down in here, let's take a look at this right here. Uh, number six. There we go. Now, as far as I know, these guys are not aggressive. So we should be okay to come down here and take a look. And then we should be able to use our grappling hook to get back up. Herkimer. 
This is crystal. This, no, this is gem. No, it's crystal. It's more crystal. It's a different kind of crystal, though. We're going to grab one. Let's grab 300 of it. There we go. <clears throat> and we should be able to get out of here. If I can't just do it on my own by jumping, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it that way. But we can do this. Just hold down left click. Hold down left click. When he gets to the top here, he's going to do a little hop. And bam, you're out. Just like that. Oh, man. Rhinos and ostriches. Crows. This would be a great place to set up a taming pen right up here, huh? It'd be so easy to uh, to get them to come after and, and, and get them in a trap. It'd be really easy. Oh, jeez. Okay, sorry. I'm too heavy. I'm too heavy. All right, let's grab Delilah back. We're going to have to run back down. Oh, there's a cave back there, it looks like. Oh, man. Tell me you couldn't build a cool little fortress back in there. If you're new to the channel, first and foremost, welcome. I know a lot of you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for signing up. I'm glad you're enjoying the Atlas series. I am having an absolute blast playing it. Uh, I really love playing it. <laughs> I think about it all the time. Everybody coming? Okay. Yeah, we got everybody? Okay, good. Guys, okay, so we're going to make a kind of a... Be hustling here a little bit. Look at this big fella. Big old giraffe. We're going to get shot at. Hopefully they don't hit us. We got a bunch of trees in the way. That's great. We get down here, hopefully they don't hit any of us. That was close. <laughs> that was a close one there. Oh, man. I got a snake up ahead. We got to get around this corner. Oh, the snake is dead. Wow. <laughs> they can really shoot far. Oh, that's much farther than I thought they could fire. Wow. Okay. All right. That's something. Oh, look at us. Look at us running down the beach. Got a monkey on our shoulder. Got a cobra up ahead. We've got uh, two beautiful boars. We're going to have to deal with this cobra. He's just going to be a pain. Eat it up, Delilah. Good girl. Reload. Yeah, it's beautiful here. I, I, oh, she's such a good girl. She cleans it all up, man. All of it. No trace. No trace at all. Uh, these look like the same kind of flowers we were looking up there. Maybe not. Uh, I'm hot, but I'm not taking damage, and I'm not having any kind of trouble. Uh, other thing I made was the... Uh, here, let's take a look. This guy right here, the water jar. Uh, you need crystal to make the water jar. The thing is, when you put the water in the water jar, it does not evaporate out of the jar. It stays in there. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the, the, the water skins lose water after a period of time. So you've always got to be thinking about that. Uh, we don't have to think about that anymore because now we have this stuff. All right, the water jars, very, very handy. What do we have here? Let's take a look at this guy right here. Number inventory. Let's grab this back. We're going to put this on number four. Since I don't have any rounds, I forgot to grab them. I was going to grab them, and then those guys showed up, and I just couldn't. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to grab it. Bilberry. Oh, Bilberry and Jute. Okay, so these are Bilberries. Uh oh, well, let's grab some Bilberries. We don't have any of these guys. Bilberries. What's over here? What's this here? Yeah, that's chopping stuff. Same thing. Number two. What is this? Aged wood and roots. Okay, so it's it's just it's another wood source. Wow, generous wood source at that. Holy cow. Uh, we're just gonna drop that, and we'll keep that and that. I got 403 crystal on me. I got 50 of those berries. I wouldn't mind having some more of those berries, actually. Uh, this is going to be a pain to get them through. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to find out right now if this, this animal is dangerous or not. Hello. 
wild female ostrich. You're very pretty. Oh, man, look at that. Now, these guys are supposed to keep you cooler. If you ride them, they keep you cooler. Having a parrot on your shoulder keeps you cooler, too. The monkey... Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see what we could do here. You guys told me I needed to set this. There we go. Let's do that. Let's go health. And let's go into his behavior. I think it was what it was. Behavior. Enable wandering. Tur uh, enable turret mode. Okay, so now he's supposed to... He will fling poop at the enemy and make the enemy not be... Uh, slow the enemy down a little bit. Just give you a second or two, you know. Just a little bit of time. Oh, man. There's just so many beautiful plants on this island. Cotton. That's right. And what is cotton considered? Is it a... A fiber? It's a fiber. Okay. I kind of figured as much. There we go. Beautiful. What's this guy right here? I think we just did this one. I believe it's going to be the same thing. Jute and parsley. Okay. So it's just... Uh, it's interesting how things change from one area to another. What's going on here? Is, is, she, is she attacking? Uh, oh. You got him, Vulture. You got him. He's eating him. Look at that. A Vulture. Eating a cobra. That is so cool. There are literally maybe too many distractions for me in this game. <laughs> if you know me and you've watched me for a while, I get distracted really easy like I am right here. But look at this. Look at this guy. He is bound and determined to get that. I'm not sure what the vulture does to you, but this is something else. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You, sh you, you shouldn't have done that. Nope. That was a mistake. What do we get? Animal meat and some skin. Just some generic old skin off the, the vulture. All right. Number two. Uh, I wonder if I could do this with all of them. You know what? Let's go ahead and hit you. Let's have them stay all right here. Oh, I've got you on ignore group commands. Hold behavior. There we go. There we go. All right, beautiful. We'll have them come over in just a second. I've got too much stuff in my inventory to be able to uh, get them in here. So I've decided E5 is where we're going to go. Now, K5 is right next door to us. And i got to say, I've been looking at it, and it is a nice-looking island. It really is. It's got a lot going for it, a whole lot of stuff going for it. It really does. Uh, but I think E5 is it, it, it's comparable um, tile across the map. And we've not been on that side of the map. So I thought, what the heck? Let's go over and do E5. So let's go to... Well, let's let's go ahead and grab our... Our friends here first. We want to make sure we get everybody on board real nice and easy. Some of you are having some trouble with getting them on board. Um, try changing the setting like I just did recently to low on their follow. And that might help out. Because they're going to be kind of forced to jump up here uh, really quick. They're going to run faster and they're going to go whoop. There we go. Oh, we need to move you forward just a little bit. There we go. And final bore. T. Just look at them and hit T. There you are. Good job. Everybody's uh, on board and accounted for. You need... Give you a little more melee damage. And we're going to park Delilah up front here. I'd like to keep my eye on her. There we go. All right. What is she sporting? She's got uh, a little bit of this on her, a little bit of that. Okay. She's got her meat. Everybody else. Oh, let's go Y. Y. There we go. Drop that off. Drop this off into here. Yeah, I could not find my ammunition. I had almost 100 rounds 
There it is, right there. Bam. Okay, now you can go back down here. There we go. It's always good to keep a shovel on you, too. You never know when you might need to dig something up. Bolts. There we go. We'll take those. We'll fill that up as well. All right. Uh, I had another big, ch a big chest down here. And in this big chest, what I'm doing is putting in... Well, I've got more space. So I've put all the clothes and stuff in here. I've dressed everyone upstairs. They're all dressed. Uh, so I've got a little more storage room now in some of these smaller containers. I need to add a second bed here, too. That's going to be kind of a priority thing as well. And then I also put in a bookshelf right here. The bookshelf, I love this little room. I really do. It's, it's just packed full of goodness. Uh, this bookshelf right here is where we're going to keep our blueprints and things of that nature in here. So I put the bookshelf up. I thought that would be a good idea to do that as well. And we've got the health kits going for us too. God, I really like the look of this island. Doesn't it look like a pride rock off of uh, Lion King? It sure does. My gosh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Give me one second. I'll be right back. So, let's take a look at E5. E5 is a little bit of ways away from us. Not too... It's, it's, it's a ways. This is what we've done so far. It is one, two, three, four, five and a half tiles away from us. That is going to be a long journey. I'm going to have to do that on my own. And what I'll do is I'll probably... I may include this in the video. I'm not sure. Uh, probably will. We're going to go to E5. E4 is a... Is the, the map is bigger than this, yeah, E5. E4 is a Freeport Island. E5 is a temperate, but if you go to F6, E6, F5, you get different kinds of biomes all the way down to H8, I believe. is H8 is where the Kraken, I said once it was the Hydra, it's the Kraken that's an H8. That's like the final boss battle. Um, we're close to several different biomes right there. And then we know we have these stones, uh, the stone islands in the area as well in the H5, H6, I5, I6 area too. So we've got a few of those we could play with also. But we, we spent quite a bit of time on the eastern side of the map last time. And I think I want to go to the western side of the map this time. Oh my gosh, I sure would love to have one of those guys. See, if we were to stay here, that's the first thing I'd do. Ugly and senior. Oh, God, for a second I thought she was in the water. I see something dead in the water over here. What is that? That's a fish. A lot of fish go belly up here on the shore. It's unfortunate. Um, what was I saying now? God, now I can't remember what I was talking about. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm, I think we're going to be... It's going to be a good idea to do this. We're, we're gonna it's gonna it's gonna work well e5 i want to spend time on the yeah like i said the western side of the map so what i need to do is we've got our crew we got everybody on board we're going to hit w to raise the anchor we're going to hit d just to slowly turn the forsaken out to see a little bit more and then i'm going to hit the sails and i'm going to keep going west west I think we could probably activate the sails a little bit by hitting W. There we go. And then I can go Shift A. Hold that down. And we're still not in the in the wind, really. We're going to have to sw switch the sails all the way back around to the other side now. All right, I am going to set sail and get the heck out of here, and we are going to try to go west and see about that E5. We're going to have to take a look at the islands that are there, decide which one we want to be on, and then I would like to get a workshop set up and get busy with uh, doing some building because we've not really done a whole lot of that at all, just a kind of a, a little building we put in, and that was about it. Uh, I would like to do a much better base. If anyone's watched, you know, I, I like to build, so we're going to be doing some building for sure, and I would like to build something... Uh, pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool looking. I'm hoping. God, of course. No, I want to build something horribly ugly and have you look at it. Anyways, I'll be back. If anything exciting happens, I'm just going to keep going west. I have a very long journey ahead of me. I'm imagining it's gonna, probably going to take me about an hour in real time just to get to E5. Dolphins. You gotta love that, right? Okay, I'll be back. We've landed. We've anchored. We're sitting right here. I'm taming up a quick cow. So we've got milk. Milk machine. There we go. The milk machine. 
All right, come on over here, you. Uh, it's a very rocky shoreline. Lots of timber and stuff like that laying around here. It's pretty cool. We've got a pirate encampment right up there. I know it's dark. Uh, let's get you a little bit further in here. Why are you injured? There we go. I'm going to leave you right there. And let me give you half of what I... Well, yeah, I don't see anything else I can give her. Um, half of my berries for now. There we go. Uh, what are you? How, how strong are you? Level 21. Now, that wouldn't be a too bad of a little horse to get. Yeah, the shoreline's really rocky. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the necessary island that we're going to stay at the entire time. But uh, we're going to definitely take a look at it and see. It's got all kinds of natural breakers in here. And there's got this really cool um, area right back in there, too. So it's definitely worth doing some exploring. But I'm going to have to wrap it up for today's episode. That's all I've got time for. I hope you enjoyed what is that over there? The horse. Oh, it's just the horse running away. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.